ಜೆ ಶ್ರೀ ಇಂದು ಅಸಿಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿವಿಲ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಬಿ ಎಸ್ ಅಬ್ದುಲ್ ರಹಮಾನ್ ಕ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜಿ ನಾವು ಯು ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಪ್ರೀ ಫ್ಯಾಬ್ರಿಕೇಟೆಡ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ಸ್ what is meant by prefabrication prefabrication is nothing but it is a process of assembling the components of a members of a structure in a factory or a manufacturing site and transporting the complete assembled uh, components to the site where the it, the construction is taking place and prefabrication is nothing but it is a combination of good design with a high performance components and a good quality process prefabrication sections are produced in large quantities and are shipped to the various construction sites it is done in two different stages manufacturing at the factory condition and erection of components at the required location the stages in the prefabrication are casting curing transportation and erection the prefabricated components are casted with the cement concrete molds with the required size and shape the vibrators are used to remove the honeycombing in the concrete in the curing process after the casting is done uh, it can be removed from, uh, from the mold after 24 hours of casting and can be transport, uh, transported to the curing tanks the special components like li- railway sleepers are required to be steam cured in the transportation process after curing the components are transported to the uh, sites with the heavy trucks and heavy vehicles after the transportation process the erection takes place where it is done by using the cranes and with the skilled labor force advantages of prefabrication as it is a ready made component the use of shuttering scaffolding and the farm work can be reduced time consumption for the construction is also reduced on site construction and conjunction is minimized the quality will be maintained in the factory assembly line than in the construction site setting the cost of labor power material or can be reduced the time spent on bad weather condition during the construction is minimized as we do the process in the factory line the amount of waste can be also reduced the shape and the dimension and the sharp edges are maintained in this type of construction the possibility of alteration is is done in the prefabricated structures and it can be also reused disadvantages careful handling of prefabricated component is required and attention is to be made when we do the joining because at the joinings the leakages can be formed and large prefabricated sections are required heavy duty cranes to be transported and to be placed in the positions and the high, uh, transportation cost will also be high when compared to the other type of mode of constructions and here the need of erection is also requires the special equipments skilled labors and supervision is also required and these can be the advantages of prefabricated construction applications the construction of apartment blocks housing developments warehouse factory buildings and the prefabricated bridges or its main applications apart from this the radio towers for mobile phones other services consist of multiple prefabricated structures the modern lattice towers and guide mats are also commonly assembled using the prefabricated elements the materials which we can use it for for our prefabricated structures are concrete steel treated wood aluminium lightweight concrete and ceramic products coming to the classification of prefabrication it can be classified under small prefabrication medium prefabrication large prefabrication partial prefabrication open system prefabrication closed system prefabrication total prefabrication cast inside prefabrication and offsite prefabrication next coming to the standardization Standardization is nothing but it is a repeated production of standard sizes or layouts or components or complete structures. The prefabrication is nothing but it is a off-site production of standardization or customized components or complete structures. Coming to the types of prefabrication, it is of two types, plant type of prefabrication and site prefabrication. Plant prefabrication. It is done at the permanent plants or the factories or the manufacturing units. It is appropriate for mass production and the production is takes place here throughout the year. Coming to the advantages, there will not be any interruption due to the weather condition and the work will be taken place throughout the year. And good quality can be maintained with the similar properties of materials. And this type of construction will be 
takes place in the factories will be fully equipped and coming to the disadvantage the uh, transportation cost will be little high when compared to the other and the dimension of the members must be held within the limits next coming to the site prefabrication the components can be manufactured at the site near to the location itself and it is appropriate for producing big members and the work is carried out at the open space by using the labor labors available at the near the site itself coming to the advantages great advantage also of this is omitting the transportation cost and no restriction will be given for the dimension of the members and disadvantage due to the large open area the weather condition will affect the construction process and may, more material waste will be there good quality cannot be possible when compared to the plant type of prefabrication the specific requirement for for a prefabrication plant plants divide into three parts concrete plant manufacturing place and storing area the workshop of reinforcing is attached to the fabrication plant the axillary workshop should be located the side of the manufacturing plant the magnitude of the plant depends upon the quantity of material kind of material and material transportation the dimension of the storing area will be depend upon the size and the number of members to be going to be stored there and the area of manufacturing plan depends upon the number of molds and the communication area the entire area of the manufacturing and concrete plan laid by 8 to 10 cm thick concrete pavement and the storing area should be leveled the manufacturing and storing plan should be equipped with cranes for lifting purpose in the manufacturing plan the distance between the two molds should not be less than 1.2 meter in longitude and 0.5 meter in transverse direction in the storage distance between two members should not be less than 80 cm in longitude and 20 cm in transverse direction prefabricated building components the following are the prefabricated building components the first one we are going to see about the columns a column is nothing but it is a vertical member which carries the load from the beam and the floor to the foundation it is a compression member and therefore the column connection is required to be proper the main principle involved in making column connection is to ensure the continuity and this can be achieved by the variety of methods the columns can be either rectangular or in circular in shape the precast columns can be produced either as a single story corbel column or a multi story corbel column this picture shows the prefabricated column beams beams are casted for the clear distance between the columns similar to that of columns beams are also casted and here all the main and secondary beams are of same size 300 mm by 300 mm various reinforcements the square of 10 cm by 10 cm hole for a depth of 10 cm are provided on the either sides to achieve the connection with the prop with the other beam reinforcement and the welding of the concrete has to be done at the column and the beams and the joints between the beams and the column should be in proper manner the picture shows the precasted beams and next coming to the precast walls the wall system can be comprised of flat or curved panel window or mullion panel ribbed panel and double thing coming to the classification of wall panels which will be based the classification will be based upon the size its material and function location cross section and stressing the picture shows the precast wall construction national building code according to the national building code the precast component should have the following dimensions first coming to the floor and roofing scheme the precast slab should have the nominal length of 1 meter and width the nominal width should shall be in multiples of 0.5 meter and the overall thickness shall be in the multiples of 0.1 meter coming to the beam the length the nominal length should be in the multiples of 1 meter which should be in the multiples of 0.1 meter and the depth of the floor zone shall be in the multiples of 0.1 meter and coming to the column the height of the column for industrial and the other buildings 1 meter and lateral dimension the overall lateral dimension or diameter of the column shall be in the multiples of 0.1 meter in walls the thickness of the wall shall be in the multiples of 0.1 meter next the material properties coming to the material properties we are going to see about the concrete steel reinforcement structural steels and bolts concrete the concrete should have the following properties the precast concrete should have the highest quality of in terms of strength 
in any part of the mold there should not be any segregation or honeycombing and it should have only the minimum vibration the material used for concrete passed through the good quality control process computerized brushing is preferable concrete must ensure correct compaction to a density of 2400 kg per meter square coming to the steel reinforcement the precast elements if necessary heavily reinforced because they are cast horizontally high tensile ribbed bars should be used in tensile zones mild steels are used in place of shear sinks bar diameters commonly used are 8 to 10 mm for column and 10 to 12 mm for beam and 16 to 40 mm for the flexural bars welded meshes are used in flat units such as slabs and panels two main types of strands used in pre-tensioning are plain or intended seven wire helical strands structural steels and bolts structural steels are widely used as prefabricated structures rolled triangular square hollow sections channels and angles and build up structures universal beams and columns may be cast into precast elements where they recapacity exhausted so far we have seen the introduction of the prefabricated structures and the properties and the prefabricated units thank you